After quite some time, we are finally getting back to one of the best AIOs on the market. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, Arctic uh, Liquid Freezer 2. This is 240 model and we have the addressable RGB version right here. So you get two addressable RGB fans and uh, basically the pump top block is the same. And this is definitely going to be uh, quite interesting just because last time we talked about liquid freezer, it was model one. Let's put it that way since this is model two. Uh, we were talking about 280 if I remember correctly. Now we're going to talk about 240. So let's check what we got in box and uh, all the necessary parts that you get. Then we're going to go uh, with the mounting process, uh, of course, thermals, benchmarks and all the information that you need to know about Liquid Freezer 2 240 addressable RGB. Now here is the thing. Here we have the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 and this is 240 model as I already stated a couple of times but here is the interesting part uh, Liquid Freezer comes with already pre-attached fans so this is um, actually the only AIO on the market that you get fans already attached and here's the cool thing the fans as they are attached they're basically forcing you to place your AIO correctly so the radiator goes on top of your case fans blow through the uh, radiator and that's basically it of course there's a possibility for you guys to mount it like this if you decide to do so since then there's no air basically trapped in your cpu block but a uh, quite interesting thing is also you have two addressable rgb fans you have two pwm fans as well i mean they're the same and you only have two cables coming out of the pump so this is kind of really straightforward when you look at it this way because these two connections are found on the motherboard right on top above the VRMs and you can connect them really easily without any issues now here we have a bit thicker uh, radiator than you usually used to so this kind of gives a better performance while cooling and of course when we're talking about thicker radiator that also means better cooling now this is also something that you need to take into consideration and take all the calculations when it comes to this part just because of the thickness and how it will fit on top of your case with clearance of the VRM heatsink and the RAMs. So if you're going with the high profile RAMs, you do need to be careful. Now in the accessory box, you get backplate for your Intel socket, you get plates for your AMD and Intel, and you get loads of screws basically, which these are usually for the fans. You have locking nuts, standoffs and locking screws, as well as the plastic bits that are basically standoffs now usually you get pre-applied thermal paste on your aio so in this case it's completely different even though you do get like pre-installed fans you have to apply your thermal paste by your own so it's kind of a plus and minus thing but it's nothing drastic for you guys to worry about you just place a piece size of thermal paste on your cpu and lock the cpu block uh, on your processor now today we're going to Take it for a run and we're going to check out all the thermals with this AIO and I'm quite curious how it will perform just because the thicker radiator I'm going to compare it to other AIOs uh, just to see how everything functions so let's go okay so I'm not going to say what I think uh, about the Arctic liquid freezer 2 immediately I'm going to say that in the conclusion but uh, here it is so the RGB on the fans is just uh, remarkable and I placed the whole build into RGB madness just because they placed an RGB fans uh, on top and it would be a shame not to show it off quite straightforward building uh, definitely makes it easier uh, since I don't have to mount the fans to the radiator straightforward just place eight screws on top to uh, place the radiator on top and that's basically it there's no fuss about it when it comes to mounting the uh, CPU block on the CPU you do need to place standoffs uh, and plates with locking screws to lock it in and then just place uh, two plates on the CPU block and basically that is it you just need locking screws on the CPU block to mount it on the processor of course don't forget to remove the plastic foil from the cold plate thermal paste that's it so I was running 
the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G on 100% load AIDA 64 Extreme Edition for around half an hour and uh, I was quite surprised with the temperatures first of all because uh, even some bigger air coolers got 65 Celsius degrees with six heat pipes now here we have 59 and I, I can't say I'm shocked I was actually expecting something remarkable from the AIO and uh, definitely I don't know what to say I mean Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 really delivers and really gives you what you actually should get with any CPU tower cooler or liquid cooler for the price you pay so my conclusion for the uh, arctic liquid freezer to 240 addressable rgb if you're running with uh, mid tier or even if you decide to go somewhere uh, between mid and high tier processor go with the liquid freezer too because it can definitely cool nicely 59 celsius degrees of amd ryzen 5 5600g outstanding performance outstanding low noise I don't know how to say it so differently uh, so the noise is basically what you hear now this is how it actually is heard when so you can't hear it basically but this is how it's actually heard when it, the CPU is under full load giving some uh, heat to the uh, cold plate on the uh, liquid freezer and usually when you get uh, higher temperatures uh, the RPMs on the fans start to rise this one keeps it quite cool because of the nice thermal dissipation and uh, definitely a uh, thicker radiator for sure but uh, the liquid cools uh, the cold plate quite nicely and takes off the heat from it and cooling the processor so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to give uh, arctic liquid freezer 2 240 addressable rgb a best buy badge and performance badge just because it does quite an outstanding job especially for the price when you take into consideration all other AIOs in this range uh, it can beat 280 definitely beats all 240 and my warm recommendations if you're after something that is in your budget category you still want a liquid cooling system uh, AIO all-in-one uh, solution uh, but you don't have that amount of money for some high-end even though with this it really deserves high-end position uh, amongst uh, all uh, AIOs I'll put the links below for you guys to check out where to buy it and of course the price because the price point is always uh, the most important thing and what performance does it give you guys as the end user and what you deserve uh, for the price this is it the best buy is here liquid freezer 2 240 you can go without rgb of course if you go with uh, anti-rgb build it's all up to you to choose between those two but uh, you can definitely expect quite nice performance so don't forget to subscribe click the thumbs up button for the liquid freezer too and hit the notification bell for future content hopefully i will see you in another one bye bye